little bit of the baddie. Big Josh is probably a little bit peed off with me because I took him to the European Championships <laughs> in, in 2011 on two weeks training to teach him a lesson about what international boxing was. He was a novice. He was domestic champion. And he had three fights in five days. He hadn't had three fights in four months before that. And um, we thought long and hard about putting him into the third fight in the quarterfinals. We put him in, but he was exhausted. He won the first two rounds. He was in the third round. He was miles ahead. And we retired him because he'd been caught with a couple of heavy shots. But that's seven, eight years ago. The pricey thing was around the same time, seven, eight years ago. Anthony was a novice boxer. A really, in hindsight, possibly shouldn't have been in with those experienced boxers at the time. But we're talking a long time ago, we're talking when he was a novice. That's why it's riled him a little bit, because it's not real. It is fake news, as he says. There's one or two boxers that are reputed to have knocked him down, knocked him out. Not true. I've been with him for seven or eight years. I've been at all of those spas. So none of it's true. But if it gives Team Parker a bit of confidence, great. But the reality of talking about boxing Anthony Joshua and actually getting into a ring with him is very different. And the Klitschko fight was two or three fights early at the time when we took it. But that's the way Josh is. It was two or three years early when we took him to the Olympics and the World Championships, which he won. And um, he stepped up to the challenge. He's, he's different to most fighters. He'll do it in half the time of what it takes most fighters to do to do it or get to the top or get reach their potential and, and the top of their ability. Um, he's very professional. Um, he doesn't like the trash talking, but he's a smart guy. He'll prepare diligently for Parker. He'll take him deadly serious. Parker's a good fighter. He knows what he's doing. And, you know, he's done really well to win a WBO title belt, WBO title belt, and he's fought some decent opponents, but he's not fought Anthony Joshua. And let's be honest, in boxing, we could talk all we want here. Talk's very cheap. I think we saw that in, in Parker's last fight with Fury. You know, he was a strong favourite to win, and he struggled badly. And, you know, we believe he'll struggle badly on March 31st, and AJ will go away from today, and he'll prepare diligently for it and he'll produce a great performance on March 31st.